yes, it was a really long time. But right for the weekend, the Boovis finally arrived after a long wait. The Boovis is a Bluetooth controller with an integrated lithium polymer battery for the LEGO Power Function system. In June 2016, the campaign started on Kickstarter. For Christmas, the finished Boovis should be under the tree. That was the plan, but you know, there were delays and not always a very good information policy. Now it is here. The official app was missing in the app stores on Friday, but that should already be history. The movies comes in a small brown package. From the outside, the packaging is quite appealing. After opening, you'll find a small info sheet and the Boovis itself. You see there's even room for one more, but I've only ordered one, so one place is free. Visually, the Boobus looks as expected. It is grey and has a very well finished case. It is 8 studs long and 4 studs high and 4 studs wide. The LEGO Technic pins fit perfectly and also the studs hold yes, very well on top as well as below. For the testing I needed an adequate test object. Here you see the second version. The first one, yes, you will see in the outtakes at the end, because it was simply not stable enough. Not stable enough to drive and not stable, yes, itself, it broke apart. The finished test platform I can use as I like. I could put in the Boovis for example, but also the Asprick plus the Lipo battery and I can put in as well the LEGO power function system. So I can compare all three control types very well. Because the Boovis as well as the Lipo battery is only 8 studs long, I had to do some tricks during installation because my installation is 9 studs wide. Mm -hmm. 
the Boovis is controlled by the appropriate app. At first glance, it has been very successful. The app is, yes, I would say, it looks beautiful. Three profiles are available at the beginning. I choose the race car profile. Using the setup button, I assign the desired Boovis and occupy two of the four outputs. short test in the studio and after that we can go outside. The weather is fine, so let's start. You have to get used to the control system in the beginning, but then it works very well. I would say the range is something about, yes, 10 to 20 meters. Announced we are 60 meters, but I can say this range can definitely not be covered, at least not with my iPhone. Therefore, a little more would be nice. What it does not need is more power. The Boovis brings incredible power to the test model with the two buggy engines. Although usually the slow mode is Yes, it is enough. You can trust me. Unfortunately, the Boovis always loses the connection to the smartphone. This is quite annoying because you have to pair it every time again. But back to the power. Here I show you how the buggy starts with the Boovis. In slow, in normal and in fast mode, in slow motion. I think it would be yes nicer if you could determine in the app which outputs are operated with which power level. Thus, the servo also receives the high power and responds really quickly. Then I tried to measure the speed, but I only partly succeeded. The app says it was just over 5 km an hour, but I would say it was definitely faster. For comparison, I have packed the LEGO infrared receiver with LiPo in the buggy. Despite moderate sun, the control doesn't even cover 2 meters. So I had to chase behind. The speed is roughly between the slow and the normal modes of the boobies. The control is clearly less precise, let alone sensitive. The whole thing now with the Asprit and the LiPo. In terms of speed, there is no difference. The control is top, the buggy reacts as it should. The range is roughly the same as the Boobis. Then for fun I changed the s brick against the s brick Plus and I can tell you there is no difference. The reaction is the same, it is very good steering and yes, the speed is the same. Should I evaluate, my evaluation would be like this. The LEGO power functions with LiPo battery are ok, but not charges. The s brick is fun inside and outside. It also supports sensors and can be programmed within certain limits. The app is quite major, though complex. In terms of power, the s brick without its own power supply cannot keep up with the Boovis. The Boovis convinces me with its great power. Sometimes it is almost a bit too much of it. When you use this brick, be aware, Legos have limited resilience. And with the Boovis, you'll reach the boundaries very quickly. What still convinces me is a small space requirement. Battery and control are nicely compact. This is just great. If the app becomes even more flexible and you can add your own profiles and also the connection becomes more stable, the Boovis would just be perfect.
finally I changed the buggy's shoes and wanted to play a bit in the sand. I tell you, you better leave it. Sand and Lego, no, that doesn't fit. The only thing I have to say, moving parts. So, thank you for watching today. If you liked it, leave me a like or leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.